Hey everybody, welcome back. In this episode, I want to show you some of my YouTube analytics and how I'm looking at them and using that information to improve some of my videos. So last month, or actually it was two months ago, I put out a video about active record models and relations, and it had a particular intro with it. I used uh, some Minecraft footage for the talking intro part. And I thought that would be just kind of a fun, different, creative thing to do. And I wanted to see what sort of audience response I would get to that. And so I put that video out there. And I felt like the video wasn't performing as well as some of the other videos uh, that I've done. I was thinking maybe it's sending kind of the, the wrong message. Because maybe people come there wanting to learn something about Ruby on Rails. And then they see the, the Minecraft character... And, uh, and then they kind of skip over the video and, and go somewhere else because they don't think the video is going to have the information that they want. So what I did was I looked at the analytics for this video to see what sort of watch time and retention I'm getting there. And then I did a little A-B test where I revised that intro and then I uploaded the new video and I wanted to see what sort of results I get. So let's take a look at my YouTube analytics and we'll see what sort of conclusions we could draw. So here we're looking at my screen and it shows all of my recently uploaded videos. Uh, here's the video that was the original one. And uh, here's the one that was the revised version. So let's take a look at what was going on with the original video. Okay, so here uh, I've got no new subscribers. Watch time was four hours. Uh, 115 views and the average view duration was 2 minutes 16 seconds they viewed 12 percent of the video now what's interesting to me is i want to see what how many people are still watching after one minute versus turning it off and as you can see there there's about a 30 percent retention rate from the youtube analytics now let's go to the revised version of this and we'll see what sort of results we get and here's the revised video. Now, the reason that I'm looking at today is because I have approximately the same number of views, 114 versus 115. And both of them have been up for about 20 days. So in about the same amount of time, it covered the same amount of views. And I was really wondering if the re-upload of this video would do more poorly than the first one, just because my subscribers who are watching the alerts on this channel and looking for new content, if they're going to click on it thinking it's a new video and then realize that they've already watched the content and then move on. So I was kind of expecting the retention rates to maybe just be a little bit lower uh, just because of that. But instead, I think we're having the opposite effect. So I've gained two subscribers on this particular video. There's a longer watch time and Let's see, 258 and 15%. Now let's look at that one minute retention mark. So we go to one about one minute and we're doing about 38, 36% and the previous one about 31, 30%. So there's a slight improvement there, but it's interesting that even with, uh, with this being a duplicate of a video that was already released, kind of, kind of a rerun episode, uh, this one did have a better retention. So comparing them side by side, uh, here's the old version of the video, here's the new. So you could see 216.58, longer percentage viewed, and we got a much nicer audience retention chart. Huh, I wonder what's going on here at 527. Oh, well, yeah, it's the little model joke that I have there. So people have been uh, going back to that part of the video and re-watching it. <laughs> Uh, another interesting thing that I wanted to look at was how do, what's my usual one minute retention rate? I went digging through some of my videos from 2021 and just wanted to see what's normal. So at the I manually went through all these videos, which is why I didn't go through all of them. But at one minute, usually I'm about 45 to 50 percent. And does having like intro music make a difference? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't have the data to really tell yet. And one of the things that makes this a little bit difficult to compare 
is that many of the videos that I released in 2021 were the Stonks on Rails series where they follow a particular format of me building my Rails app. Uh, the ones where I don't typically have music, usually a different type of content because uh, I'm, I'm doing other than Ruby on Rails type of technical issues. So it's not really a one-to-one -one comparison. Uh, I don't know yet, but I thought this information was interesting. Some of the things that you could do with YouTube analytics. So I want to thank you for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and consider joining my Patreon where you get to see the source code on the projects I'm working on. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.